don't understand this team, do not understand this team. As we welcome you to Phillies post game live, presented by Cure Auto Insurance, Ricky Vitalico, I'm Michael Barkan. Since the beginning of the season, you ready? Yep. First 15, 5 and 10. Next 13, 10 and 3. Next 6, 0 oh and 6. Next 5, 5 and 0. Oh. Now they're 0 oh and 3 again. You talk about streaky. You talk about underperforming against teams that are lesser than you supposedly are. I don't understand what's going on this here. There's a well deserved loss to an inferior team. This, this, if you're going to sit there and tell me that this Giants team even compares to what the Philadelphia Phillies are, I'd laugh in your face. But I will tell you right now, they came to play. They were three for six with runners in score position. You saw Alex, Alex Cobb out there tonight walking the world. Couldn't yeah. find his pitches, couldn't find the strike zone, and the Phillies let him off the hook. I'm sick of them letting guys off the hook. You leave 12 guys on base tonight, one for 11 with runners in score position. I hate to tell you, you don't deserve to win. Alex Cobb, best ERA in baseball, coming in 1.70. He gave him a gift in the first inning. They took no advantage of it. A, a gift? I mean, when, whenever a you walk, have a walk, single by Turner, and then if Harper hits into a double play, Castellanos flies out. What, what, you know what? You didn't have the feeling that that was going to happen anyways? Because that seems to, to, to be the way the Phillies are going right now. As far as runners in scoring position, I mean, you think about this for a second. The Phillies had 10 hits in this game. Ten hits in this game. One with a runner on second base or, or third. Yeah. It's one. So there's what? no I know what you're saying. There is no real good reason for it, except are they putting pressure on themselves when they're up at the plate? You have to be a little bit more selective when you get runners in score position. Make that that pitcher is the one on the ropes, not you. Yeah. So right. act that way when you're up at the plate. Let's check in with Ruben Amaro Jr. out in San Francisco. Ruben, I, I, at this point, I love the fact that you are a championship <laughs> assistant GM and a pennant winning general manager because I want to know what's a GM to do in a situation like this. A quarter of the season gone. They're two games below 500 again. They left 30 men on base over the last three games. 30, including tonight. And you know the one for 34 with runners and scoring position over the parts of the last four games. What do you do? I mean, to me, it's uh, less is more. I mean, it, it, for, for me, I think the guys just have to relax. I wouldn't even take BP tomorrow. I would just, just lock up the bats, lock up the balls, no BP, just go out there and swing the bats and just go have fun. Because right now it just feels like uh, guys are pressing, they're trying to do too much, they're swinging at the pitches, they're out of the zone. There's a whole variety of things that are happening with men in scoring position, and, and it just feels like everybody's trying to do a little bit too much. And, you know, it, it's you got to try to play tension-free. If you're not playing tension-free this particular game, you're going to struggle, and that's, that's kind of what I, I feel is happening. Guys are getting on base, and they feel like they have to get a hit. They have to do – instead of just letting the game come to them, I think – Rob Thompson alluded to it uh, in the interview. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you and just play. Just go play. And, and, and I don't think that they're doing that right now. The fundamental baseball. It's, it's gone. Seems like it just flies out the window. Yep. You're going to get your own players hurt. At one point, you heard Ruben say to Tommy during the game, he said, baseball, man, the way, the way it's played today was the, was the inference. It's just not the same as when you played it, when he played it. It's a, it's a different brand and, of and, baseball. And it's funny. We were watching Alex Cobb today, and the first thing I thought was he's got some kind of an issue going on. Not, not like he's hurt. Very uncomfortable with the mound. Yeah. Very uncomfortable Bonk. with his surroundings. He's rubbing up each baseball. He's got his hat half on, half off. He's rubbing stuff all over the place. The guy's out of his mind out on the mound. You knew that he wasn't going to have a good day. And that was the opportunity that they wasted. They had an wasted. opportunity to knock his daylights out, and they didn't do it. All right, let's see what the daylights Rob Thompson thinks of this one tonight. Here he is post game. Bats the last few games just have not been able to come up with big hit. Yeah, that's it. I mean, you know, I think one for 11 with runners in scoring position tonight. But, you know, and we, we talked to the guys about it. You know, don't try to do too much. Uh, keep moving the line. Use the field. Um, you know, we're just, we're just going through one of those times right now. But as long as you're getting runners on base, I mean, we had six walks tonight, 10 hits, 16 base runners should equate to six, seven runs, I don't know, on a normal night, but, um, you know, just got to keep grinding. 
when you're going through it like you have been the last few games, and then you have tons of runners in the first three innings and yeah. no runs to show for it, do you worry about pressing or making it, you know guys making it worse? Sure, that's that's why we we talk about it, but we don't uh, we don't harp on it um, because that can make it worse. Yeah, so um, it'll the title turn. It will. It always does. Defense kind of has been also nipping you. Bit, yeah, I mean, games. Marsh bobbled the ball in center field, and then he came up, and he, he kind of he, he didn't want the guy going from the plate to second base, and so he just overthrew second base, and nobody's standing in the middle, which nobody should be. And the ball, um, the pop up that that we lost. I mean, I'm I'm watching the ball the entire time. I'm not out there, you know, running, and and I lost it. I mean, I saw it go up, and then I lost it. So. Yeah. In the sky, or it was in the sky. Because of the sky. In okay, not the lights. No, not the yeah, lights. Yeah, okay. It was the sky. Did, did the wind take that ball too? Yeah, okay. yeah. Because when Cody took off, he took off on a deep angle in foul territory. Because usually that was, or that's where it was going, and then it just blew it back, and they couldn't see it. So and there's not much you can do about it. And it, you know, Wheeler pitched great, and his line was, he, he pitched better than his line for sure. Um, and Shranthi did a great job, and, and Soda did a great job. So, you know, the story of the night is, is we didn't get anything to fall with runners in scoring position. That's it. But I thought we played well other than that. Let's hear from Bryce Harper post game in the clubhouse. Tom's was saying that he was telling you guys or the coaching staff, like, but he kind of just try not to press too much runners in scoring position, keep moving the line, because it hasn't been going well the last three games, obviously. Is that kind of message you, you can get in terms of the struggles right lately? Maybe other guys. I mean, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I got to get the job done there in the first. Um, in the fifth, I think I was, or the fourth. Um, and then right there against you know, Duval or what's his name? The Duval. Duval, sorry. Um, Duval. So uh, pretty embarrassing on my part. So I got I to get that job done. You know the capability of this offense, so is this just sort of a three-game thing? Like just a, you know, or do you sort of sense that there are guys maybe who are pressing a little bit or, you know, trying to come up with, you know, do something or trying to come up with a, a you know, putting a little extra pressure on themselves? Yeah, I mean, I think anytime anybody's going through something, um, they're going to try to do a little bit more. Uh, but just got to stay within themselves and, and do their job. And, you know, if each guy can do their job each day, you know, we'll be okay. You can swing the bat pretty well lately. So when you say it, it's, it's, it's embarrassing, it's because you thought you missed a, missed a pitch and you should have hit or you it's just did be better. Like, just I mean, it's plain and simple. You know, I just, I, I think it, with my, you know, myself, you, you guys know, I mean, I, I expect me to be great in, in each situation, in each spot. Um, you know, bad at bat against Rogers right there. Um, you know, didn't get a pitch up like I wanted to and swung at four balls probably out of the zone. Um, and then, you know, stay through this, the, you know, split finger. I need to stay through that ball. If I don't, you know, you guys know what happened. Um, so I just, I need to be better. I mean, that can't happen. You know, I'm in that situation, those spots to, to be, you know, to be myself and go out there and do the job. And, um, yeah, I didn't do that. I mean, but you weren't after the first month, but coming into this game, I think you guys are t tied for 20th and run with runs per game, runs per game. So it's surprising. I mean, what do you, what do you make of the offense <coughs> performance, you know, through the first, Six weeks with and without you. Yeah, yeah uh, I mean, we we got to be better. I mean, that's all I can tell you. You know, I think uh, as a whole, you know, we'll get there. Um, we just have to.